Yeah, absolutely. After getting 231, we knew we were going to have to bowl and field extremely well um, to be able to um, defend that. And we certainly did that throughout the throughout the whole 48, 49 overs. We, we certainly did that. And that's what we've been talking about and about to be able to actually put it all together. Um, and in the end, to, we're able to we're able to do that, and that's very satisfying. When you talk about things, be able to keep our tempo like we didn't do um, the other night when we were, when we set 270. Um, it's very very exciting for I think for the whole group to actually know that we can we can put that all together um, in a big game. Just did it make it any more satisfying because Michael um, mentioned like the past few games about sort of how we had to get ball and then being like to actually do that tonight. I think it wasn't even our death bowling, it was more so just our, our general bowling. Um, um, we, we didn't always bowl to our plans over the last couple of games. Um, in the, the first final in Brisbane we sort of let it slip a bit and nearly, and nearly lost that first game. Um, so I think it was more so just an all-round bowling performance to, to be able to put it all together and, and also fielding performance to be able to keep the intensity through the whole, through the whole 50 overs. And, um, it was brilliant to see. <clears throat> it's brilliant to see when the guys really set their minds to it. We we certainly can do it, and that's a, I suppose a standard that we we set tonight that we're going to have to. That that's actually where where we want to play all our cricket. <clears throat> um, well, in the end, yeah. Um, oh, look, in the end, it's it's been a very exciting time just for myself to be honest. To be able to see, see the game from a different perspective has been um, a lot of fun that I never I suppose normally standing out in the fence you normally trying to deflect a bit of banter that's coming your way. So I'm um, actually being in there um, around the bowls all the time, communicating with them is, is a lot of fun. And um, it's, um, it's, you know, it's nice when, when everyone sticks their hands up like they did tonight. Uh, we didn't, didn't get ex as, as many as we would have liked with the bat, but in the end, if we bowl that well, we, you know, we, like we showed tonight, we def definitely had enough. At one point, the first player the play always in terms of your um, oh, first of all, the first part of your question, uh, it's always hard balancing how much I'm going to bowl, I suppose. More so, I don't want to overbowl myself and not give, you know, not give other guys opportunities that, that deserve an opportunity. Like Dan Christian did tonight, he bowled beautifully well, like Clint Mackay did especially as well. Uh, we've got a lot of bowling options, so it's trying to balance it as well as he possibly can and not um, feel like I'm over, you know, over bowling and bowling overs that you know, I should be giving opportunities to other guys. So um, yeah, in the end, I suppose my, my strength is just my trying to be as accurate as I possibly can. Um, I suppose the things that I've been working on over the well, over my career really is, is accuracy um, and also changes of pace, which on wickets that are a little bit slower are very, uh, very important. Like Clint showed tonight as well with the, the skill that he has with the slow at the back of the hand, it is a, is a big weapon. So um, those are the things I suppose I, I know I've just got to stick to and, and do, do them well if I'm going to have success. Clint, for you to have the game that you did, Pfeiffer and Bateman and Jerome's as well, how much does that mean for you? Yeah, lots, uh, to be honest. Probably, um, it sort of makes me feel like I belong at this level. Uh, again, it's been a long sort of time since I've sort of performed like this um, at international level. So it's great to get out there and um, not only sort of showcase my skills, but also to um, help the team secure a victory in the series win. So it's, it was great tonight. It was just great to be back amongst all the boys as well. Um, well, in the end, I was going to have to learn pretty quickly, wasn't I? Um, being vice captain, um, and especially after not having that many opportunities in the teams that I've played in over the last ten years, really, always being more, more so a young member of a Australian team or Australian squad, and then sort of being in and out um, of state cricket as well um, because of my Australian commitment. So it just means that those opportunities were never there. So um, in the end, I've been very lucky to be around so many great players throughout my throughout my career and I came through at a I started at a time of um, some of the greats that have ever played the game were, were all in around the team and I was just there to try and learn as much as I can also having Shane Warne to be able to learn off um, throughout the IPL and talk to talk to him a hell of a lot to be able to really get inside his mind because I, I really believe he's one of the well, there's no doubt he's one of the best thinkers that's ever played the game of cricket so I've been lucky to be around some pretty amazing people so in the end I suppose your natural Flair will come out when when the opportunities um, do arise, and 
I'm very lucky to have some great people around me in the team as well um, to be able to just continue to either reinforce things or um, give me some other feedback um, out in the field. So that's certainly um, bouncing ideas off um, some of the guys certainly makes things a bit easier as well. Richard.